Hello and welcome to a new series of videos about a thing which I just going to construct also with my pupils in school. This is a, a bow balancer. I want to show you how it is working. Here is my my version of it. I'm already eager to know what in school will be the result if the if the students do it on their own. Uh, well, uh, that's it. Yeah. Here, on one end, there is this ultrasonic uh, distance measurement device. I want to have a bowl here on those two rails. I want to have a bowl. And this here can be tilted yeah, in one or the other uh, with this servo motor. Here is a servo motor. Uh, and I want that the servo motor can tilt the spar and so that the ball can be positioned wherever somebody wants to have it. Here on the bottom I have implemented an LED strap so I want to use those uh, addressable LEDs so indicate the measured position and the wanted position so that we can uh, compare those two things. Uh, yeah, and this is how this should work. Here below I'm still working uh, to, to maintain all this stuff. Um, mainly it should be 3D printed. And yeah, like I said, here the servo motor. I have to control the servo motor. I have to do a measurement here. I have to do a measurement here with this uh, ultrasonic uh, distance measurement. Maybe here this is designed exactly the same. Maybe I will put in another distance measurement so that I can do it, the distance measurement from both sides. Maybe this is a good idea. Uh, here there should be enough room if we just hide this component. Uh, you see there is the distance measurement device. Here I've made a hole uh, that they can run cables through. Uh, yeah. Inside to those those rails, these are actually tubes, and the tubes I want to cut in a thread, and the threads um, with M6, M6 thread, this is six, uh, 8 mm diameter, 6 mm thread inside, and this will hold the whole thing together. Uh, and the cables will run here underneath this, underneath this, this bar here. Uh, make this solid also underneath this bar and here I also made some holes I can hardly be seen but here 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 you can see maybe I switched uh, here are holes so that the cables can run uh, get out here here the bearing the main bearing uh, also holes down to the control station and down here is the control station this is work in progress. Yeah. I want to print it up to here, yeah, for the top part, that I can test if the servo motor is able to move and stuff. Uh, this uh, will be the first things I, I, I do. And if we look inside, you see there is plenty of stuff going on. There are a lot of bearings inside. Maybe, uh, you know, I know it's over-engineered uh, because, I mean, it's tiny. Uh, actually, it's it's not that big. This this uh, this 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 part here, oh, this part here. I mean, this is M5, right? So this is really small. Uh, and probably you would not have to use these these roller bearings. Maybe if I hide this component here as well, you see there's quite some stuff inside going on. Uh, there are XL bearings. There are radial bearings. And, but, you know, I am teacher in a mechanical engineering department, so, hey, it has to be according to the book. It's not entirely according to the book, because some things, I even think this is too much. Yeah? But, so, two, here, main bearing, are two, two uh, roller bearings, and, and two axial bearings, and I would expect this to work really good. Yeah. Uh, we will see. We will see. Right now I'm printing all the parts. 
Yeah? I'm again using these melt-in threads where we have them, for instance, here. Look at this, 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 uh, hide component, screw here. Here, these melt-in threads, I'm going to use them again. Uh, what I really don't know how good is working because here, here I want to screw directly inside, inside the plastic uh, with little self-cutting screws. Uh, because I think is honestly, it's this will not be exchanged too much, right? So um, yeah, I will test this. I will test this. Oh, and well, this is how this should work. Move to a desired position. Indicate this desired position by some colored dot point, which is going further and not that further with this uh, LED stripe and stuff. Uh, yeah. So this is this is the goal. Uh, this was what I total length of this of this rocking of this rocking bar is uh, 60 centimeters. Uh, and yeah, the bearing it can be tilted to around 23 degree plus minus if the servo motor is doing a 180 degree spin. Of course, if it's turning around, yeah, then it will just rock. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So first thing, are I, no, I don't have any, a lot of parts right now, but currently they are printing. And then I will melt in all the threads and then I will mount those stuff. This will be the next video. Uh, already mounting this stuff and then see how it's working. Yeah. Mount this stuff. Next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.